Hey guys, so it's me Anastasia here and today I will be doing a DIY for electronics. Now, of course, I won't be making um, these real electronics because, well, duh. But I will be making LPS electronics. So the things you will be needing to make this DIY are the following. Printouts of electronics and be sure to make them LPS appropriate size. Some glue. Now I'm just using this glue, but you could use a glue stick or any other glue that you want. Something to mix your glue with and something to mix your glue in. A little bit of water, now this is just random. You can have a cup of water or whatever. Scissors. Any pencil, some cardboard. And this is optional, but either a top coat of some sort, or Mod Podge, or perhaps even some thin clear plastic just to give it a shine. So you can start off by printing some electronic stuff or whatever you desire. And then simply print them out so that you get some electronics on paper. You are now going to start cutting out your electronics that you want to make and try to get a clean cut so that you end up with both sides of your electronic. Then you will take your cardboard and you will put your device on there and you will take your pencil and sketch around your device so that you have a little sketch on your cardboard before you actually start to glue on your stuff. And then next, you will simply just cut it out. So yeah, you should end up with this. Next, you will want to take your little cup or container or whatever you're using and put some glue in it. Not too much though. I'm just putting a little bit. And you also want to take your a tiny dr drop, I guess, of water and just put it in there. Just so that it'll thin it out and it'll be more... You don't have to put water, but yeah. And then you mix it up. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah. And make sure you put more glue than water, or else it'll be too runny. Next, with your little cut out um, piece of cardboard, you will take a little bit of your glue mixture and apply some to the front. Yeah, and then you will take your first half of, or whatever you're doing of your electronic and just put it on and try to make it even. Take a few seconds and let this quickly dry. It doesn't have to be completely dry, just dry enough so that you don't get glue all over your fingers. Then you're going to turn it around and take your glue mix mixture again and coat the back of the cardboard in with glue and take your other half of your electronic and in my case it is the back of an iPhone and just put it into place shift it around if you need to and squeeze it together a bit and you're done now this is optional but if you want to make it shine a bit more you can take a clear coat or a top coat of nail polish and you could simply apply a coat of that on to front so that it'll resemble a stream. And here is your final product. As far as I know you can go very far with this DIY. You can make computers and or TVs, laptops, iPads, and so many more different types of iPhones. So why don't you give this DIY a try and explore and see what you can make. 
Bye. <laughs>